hello everyone, my name is Musalog, and welcome back. This is the second episode, <laughs> and if you guys were with me last episode, you know that I left myself in <laughs> quite a predicament. Um, I'm a little bit scared. I have a golden pickaxe and a plague axe. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be helpful at all. I guess it's better than a wooden pickaxe. Oh god. Um, it's also night and raining. <laughs> and all my stuff that was here is gone. Uh, so, <laughs> so what I might do is wait till day. I'm hoping that I've got these spawners lit up enough that if I leave here the, the mobs will despawn. Um, we'll find out eventually. So what I'm going to do here guys is wait till morning, go for a bit of a run a couple hundred blocks away and uh, yeah, hopefully these guys all go bye bye. Um, yeah, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, I'm back. I uh, <laughs> managed to clear all this out and light the area up. I've kept the two spawners here. So I've got a, a skelly spawner and I've got a zombie spawner. Um, and stuff I found down the bottom there I'll show you in just a sec. So I'm keeping the spawners because it's really good to have spawners early on. I can make myself a mob farm, get myself some experience for enchanting. But uh, what I found down below, Fortune 1, Fortune 1, Fortune 1, and Fortune 1. That is four Fortune 1 books in the one spot. Uh, on top of that, I found some gold, one of these heart canister things, I'm not sure what they're for just yet. Uh, some ender stuff. I've got Deadlands Biome for Miscraft. I don't know what that is. I've got the white stone from random things. I, there's no recipe for it. I don't know what it actually does. So, yeah, I'm gonna keep it in my inventory for a little while and see if I can figure that out. The name tag, I got a couple of infinity orbs, which are pretty cool for um, uh, as Magicka, and I'll show you what they do later on. Uh, and one shiny ingot. I have no idea what that is, but apparently it's polarized shiny metal. No idea what this stuff's for just yet. Uh, I'm sure it'll come in handy eventually. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I've got. And at the moment, I'm pretty sure it's... Oh god. It's uh, definitely night time. It's a bunch of zombies. This place is scary. Magical forest, it is scary. Scary at night, man. There are all sorts of crazy monsters in here. Um, I can't even sleep. I can't sleep. Ah. Oh well. Um, for now, another cool thing is there's an aura node here. I don't know if you can make it out. It's a really faint, sort of shimmery little ball. Maybe easier if I come down from under here. No, not really, but you can see the, the tooltip in the middle of my screen. It tells you it's an aura node from Thorncraft, which is pretty handy to have right right in the middle of your base. Um, I think up on the map, ah, uh, it disappears when I go into that, but uh, in the map you can see these little bright glowing circles, sort of I think those are Thorncraft enemies, I think those are Wisps, and those guys are um, really nasty, they shoot these little electric shocks at you, and man, there is not much, not much you can do about it. Um, so what I'm going to do today, well in this episode anyway, is I am going <laughs> to uh, hopefully get myself a little mine set up, uh, get myself a few resources. Uh, maybe set up a... I'd like to get a bed. I'm gonna have to go find some sheep. I can see one out towards the south, at the top of my little mini-map up there. Um, hopefully there's a few more floating around. Uh, but for right now, I'm just gonna sit here and wait out the darkness so 
I will be right back once it's daytime. Alright guys, I'm back. Uh, it's daytime and I think things have sort of calmed. What the hell is this? Moonstone. Oh, can I get that with? Damn it. I'll take this stone though. So I'm going to just remember that's there. Oh, it's just outside my little temporary base for now. Hello, Mr. Enderman. Um, so I'm going to grab some wood get myself some materials. I would really like to start setting up a Tinker's Construct, Tinker's Construct little table and stuff pretty early on in the piece just so I can get some repairable tools. Oh, a skeleton! Um, yeah, just so I can get myself some re repairable tools. Uh, quick smart. Alright, so let's just stop running around like a headless chicken. And knock down some of this, get myself some wood. Um, I think what I'm going to do is probably build myself a strip mine. Um, I know it's not the most exciting thing, but to be honest, I'm not going to make you guys sit there and watch me dig out some... Okay, uh, dig out tunnels or anything like that. Uh, I mean, I don't even find it interesting. Why would you find it interesting watching me do it, right? Uh, I'm probably going to do a little bit of caving at some point and I'll definitely bring you guys in on that but for the strip mining stuff uh, it's just going to be me punching through solid blocks of wall um, oops, throwing my food around um, so I just get a little bit of wood what have I got? Uh, a little bit, I might make myself a, an axe to collect some more and then uh, I'll see if I can find a cool little cave maybe we'll do a little bit of caving to start off I would like to explore the area a little bit. I would love to find a village. Uh, if I can find a village, I'll be a very, very happy little man. Uh, oh, a little bit of lag. All right, so we got some wood. We'll head back to base, uh, which is over here. I should really put a waypoint here. Um, yeah, I had a few creepers blow up in the front. I don't know if, if you guys have seen that. Uh, it's I'm not a big fan of creepers and these spiders do seriously so far up in my grill all the time. Alright, um, so I'm going to get a few things set up guys and I'll bring you back in. Alright guys, oops, throw my axe around. So I thought I'd show you something that's really cool. I'm not sure what mod this is from or whether it's even from a mod. <laughs> Did you see that? See how fast that tree just disappears? Look at it. Just cut away this stuff. Da, da, da. Get all the wood you want. And then, boop. No more leaves. I mean, well, except for these ones. But they're attached to that. How cool is that? How cool is that? I love it. It's. I, I really wish I knew what it was from. Uh, well, mod developers. If this is your doing, good job. It's fantastic. It's pretty much what everybody ever wanted the trees to ever do in Minecraft is to just bugger off once you've cut all the wood away from them. It's so useful. Ah, so enjoyable. Now what I'm going to do now guys, I'm going to head back to my little uh, hidey hole. And I'm going to show you guys some, oh god, zombies everywhere. I'm going to show you guys some Tinker's Construct stuff. Uh, Tinker's Construct is, ah, oh, is that one of those wisps? It is. So those are the things I was talking about before. They're just hanging about, being a nuisance. I really need to get a door. Oh god. I really need to get a door. Alright, so, Tinker's Construct, guys. You need to make some blank patterns. To do that, you just get some wood, like this. A couple of sticks like this. There you go, you get blank patterns. Now with the blank patterns, put one on here to make a tool station which is something you'll need. You need this which is a stencil table. Uh, tool station, stencil table. That's the stencil table. Ah, there we go. And a part builder. Now there is a... Uh, 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 what's it called? Uh, a pattern chest which is kind of useful I'm 
Look, I'll make one just to show you guys. Uh, so it's just a chest with a pattern on top. Boom, pattern chest. And where should we set this stuff up? Uh, let's just put it over here, shall we? Part builder can go there. Stencil table. Tool station there. The stencil table and the pattern chest. So that one, I've got it round the wrong way, don't I? I want this connected. God, those zombies are annoying. Just give me a sec, guys. I'll Silly, silly muzzle log. Alright, so this goes on that side. Yes. Alright, so now we get in the stencil table. You put your little patterns in there. I'm actually going to make a few more. Uh, just because I'm probably going to need them. So, what I'll do is make one, four more. Alright. So, I'll make a few. So, I'm going to need a tool rod. Pickaxe head, shovel, nah, maybe. Yeah, alright, we'll make a shovel as well. Uh, I'm gonna need an axe head, and I'm gonna need a sword blade. Uh, I'll also need a white guard for the sword, and I think I need a tool binding as well. So hopefully that all works, and then we can just spam those into here and there we go so now in the part builder what you do is you put the material you want to build out of so cobblestone for me at the moment you put whatever little pattern you want to make in here so I'm gonna make a couple I'm gonna make probably three of these um, and you get these little stone shards which will make a few different like little tool rods or stuff like that so what do I need a, a shovel a pickaxe an axe and a sword, so I'm going to need four of these. So I'll make four of them. Whoops, that's not how we do it. Like that, four of them. Bang, done. Uh, now I want a pickaxe head for my pickaxe. I want a shovel head for my shovel. I want an axe head for my axe. A sword blade for my sword obviously and then I think I need one of these for the pickaxe and what I can do is just leave that in there so that whenever I need to make another tool rod I'll have it uh, then you go to this tool station and you can see up here it's got all the recipes the matic the versatile farming tool is effective on wood dirt and planks interesting so it's an a hoe, an axe and a shovel all sort of mixed into one. That's pretty cool. Um, then you've got all these different types of swords and stuff, so I'm gonna make myself just a, a nice and easy stone sword, broadsword, it's pretty standard. I think it's pretty much exactly the same as the, uh, did I not make a guard for it? I didn't make a guard for it. Well, it looks like I won't be making that. Alright, I'll make a pickaxe first. Uh, so stone tool rod, stone binding, and pickaxe. And you can see here it's got three modifiers. So you can add stuff like, uh, what is it? Lapis will give you fortune. Uh, Nether quartz gives you, I think, what does Nether quartz give you? Uh, Nether quartz will give you sharpness on swords. Uh, redstone gives you haste or makes your mining speed faster um, there's all sorts of different stuffs stuffs uh, different stuff and um, this book here will show you most of the stuff you need um, I think it tells you about you know what everything is all the basic ones so what stone iron all that sort of stuff will give you what you can make stuff out of how to make you know muddy slime if that's your thing I guess um, you know, there's a fair bit of information. I, I said pig iron. 
I don't even know. I suggest you guys have a look. Ah, here we go. Here's the modifiers that you can add. So you can add a diamond, which gives you extra 500 durability. Uh, and there's all sorts of different stuff you can add. So I suggest if you're going to use this mode, you guys definitely have a flick through the little book. Uh, now I know fairly, fairly accurately what I, I need and what I want. Um, at the moment, I, I don't really have much of a choice of what I can make, so I'm just going to make what I can, which is all stone at the moment. Um, eventually, eventually, I'll have enough to be able to make myself some iron stuff or some really, really good stuff. Um, but that's what the hell might have been. And that's not going to be for quite a while. Uh, you know, eventually I'll get my tools all sorted and that sort of thing. Um, I have so much junk in my inventory. So much junk. I have one piece of wool. <laughs> I need more wool. Nah. Alright, um, I need a little bit more cobblestone to make sword guard. This thing. Oh, I've got some. Stone light guard. Alright. So I'll make myself a nice little stone sword. There we go. Alright, alright. Now we've got ourselves sort of set up a little bit. Alright. Dump this excess stuff in here. I still don't know what this does. I've had it on me for a little bit and it, it doesn't seem to do anything. And it's night. I need to get myself a bed ASAP. Alright guys, uh, I'm going to do a little bit more prep. I might start on a mine or something and then I'll bring you guys back in. Alright guys. I'm back, I'm back, um, I'm showing you how to repair stuff from Tinker's Construct and the tool station you put your broken one here, put whatever it's made out of over here and then boom, it's repaired. So easy, so simple, just makes life so much better. Uh, what I'm doing right now is digging myself a deep, deep dark hole. Uh, I'm going to start myself a, a little strip mine, get myself a few materials. I want to get a fair bit of iron so that I can get the uh, the next sort of level in tools for Tinker's Construct. Uh, you need uh, something called a tool forge, which is this here. And that's what it takes to build it. So you need quite a bit of iron and then seared bricks is pretty easy um, it's just grout cooked grout um, which is sand clay and gravel um, or you can do it like that as well which is I, don't know, I guess useful if you're making lots of it or lots I just put that in shape graphic. That makes a tiny tool station. Okay, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, this block is one of my favourites, Opal. Now, Opal changes colour depending on where in the world you are. So if you can watch it just down here, just down here it'll be. See how it's changing colour? How cool is that? It's so cool. Ah, oh, it's one of my favourites. What I really would really, really, really like to do is to use that as a, as a floor in my base. It's just to get some smooth opal and just have the floor slowly changing colour as you go around. I think it'd be amazing. Um, don't think I'm going to be building my base in the magic forest just because it's not really the biome that I want to build in. Um, I've got a little bit of an idea for where I want to build a base and it's, I mean, I'm going to have to find the right biome. Um, you know, that's probably not going to be for a little while. Ah, oh, sweet, delicious iron. Get 
as much of this as I can. Um, you can see up on my mini map, just below it, there's coordinates. Uh, you know, those are my current coordinates, so I'm using that to tell me how close to diamond level I am. And what I'm going to do is build myself a big staircase all the way down to diamond level, and then hopefully get enough. What is this? Marble. Oh, it's pretty fancy. Um, hopefully get enough iron to build myself a tool forge. Um, silver for silver expansion. Interesting. Uh, then build myself a tool forge, and in the tool forge you can build things called hammers. So these things, and what they do, well I'll show you what they do once I get one, I guess. No, I can't make one out of wood, I need the actual tool forge first. Um, but they're really, really useful for strip mining. Um, and considering I don't have quarries in this game, um, I mean, I've got the Ender Quarry, but that's sort of late game stuff, and at the moment, I obviously, I don't have the resources. Uh, the pickaxe just broke. I uh, don't have the resources to build myself an Ender Quarry, because, you know, if I did, I definitely would be doing that ASAP. And I think, yeah, these only take one piece of cobblestone to fix up, so that's pretty good. Nice and cheap, and I mean, all you need to do is carry this tool station around with you, and it is renewable. Pickaxe, axe, sword, shovel. You never have to worry. As long as you've got cobblestone on you, which, to be honest. Interesting. That is a big. Big mine shaft. Well, might not be big, but. Definitely gonna come back here at some point. Just light this stuff up. Alright, guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dig myself a big hole, uh, get a few resources, and then I'm gonna hopefully, uh, I don't know, maybe start up some power for thermal expansion, or at least get something that can double some of my ores. So I'll be back in a little bit. Alright guys, so I think I've come across a cave spider spawner. Uh, it's in one of those mine shafts. I'm just gonna block that off. Oh. oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god. Stay away from me. Go away. Go away. Uh. Oh, I'm gonna die. I don't wanna die. Oh, I hate spiders. God, I hate spiders, and I hate spiders in real life as well. Oh, that's terrifying with all their little creepy eyes everywhere. Oh. These things have too many eyes. Oh, it makes me shiver. I just hate them. They're truly gross. In so many ways. I really don't want to go down there. I can still hear one down here. Oh, I hate these guys. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna destroy that spawner. No, just I, I don't even want it. I don't want it. Ah, you little bastard.
Oh god. I haven't made it very far. <laughs> I made it down to level 14, which is where this place sort of is. Um, mine shaft sort of in and around here. Uh, I might just clear this stuff out, and I think next episode what I'm going to do is uh, maybe explore a little bit of this mine shaft. Um, these things are really cool. Uh, so these geostrata, geostrata crystals. Um, I'll show you what they can do. At geostrata. Um, so you can turn them into these potion crystals, and they actually, well, some of them. No, really? These ones, these ones, potion crystals, they actually give you certain effects. So, uh, this one will. Why are you... Okay, so the cyan one gives you water breathing. Um, you know, the purple ones give you XP, blue ones give you night vision, and what you can do is you can turn these into necklaces, or pendants as they're called, and you can wear them around and you will constantly get the effect and uh, I think they have stuff for everything so like saturations one that I want to get that they're, they're all crazy um, so what you do is you can break them and you get these if you hit it if you break them with a uh, silk touch you get the actual crystal which means you can make these ones because you can oh, you can make it with that as well it just requires gold and redstone and glowstone which again I don't have at the moment but I will get eventually for you tin all right I think I might leave it here for now guys uh, thanks for watching don't forget to leave a like oh is that another oh that's definitely a bad place uh, yeah don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video uh, please comment if you guys think I'm doing something wrong or if you think I'm doing something right let me know uh, my name's been Musalog thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time